Calendar now says November and we continue to lose more and more daylight each day. The good news is that we gain an hour of sleep this weekend. And 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Adam Stremko is working for you with why it's going to be getting darker a lot earlier starting this weekend. Well, Nick and Ciara, there is something very important that you need to do before you go to bed Saturday night. Well, this is the weekend we have to remember to fall back. Daylight saving time officially ends Sunday morning at 2 a.m. and we go back to standard time. This means before we go to bed Saturday night, we set our clocks back one hour and we get an extra hour of sleep Sunday morning. I have my, uh, uh, what's a bird clock. Every, every hour has a different sound from a, a bird call and we put that first because it has batteries. Change the batteries, put it back an hour. Daylight saving time was first put into effect in World War I, but the starting and ending days have changed over the years. The Energy Policy Act of 2005 made the start of daylight saving time on the second Sunday in March and the end of it on the first Sunday in November. In addition to setting your clock back one hour, it's also a good idea to change the batteries in your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors as well. Now, most cell phones these days and computers will automatically adjust for the time change, and the sun will set Sunday afternoon at 4.40 p.m. Working for you, I'm 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Adam Stremko.